on January 10th, 2020, the world was introduced to the Owl House. And when it first started, the show was a breath of fresh air for a Disney Channel. It had awesome animation, an interesting story, and great characters. But then, something happened to the show. I started to notice more and more strange messages in the series. There were whole episodes about ugh, accepting differences and understanding others. But I didn't think anything of it because I was just so invested in the story. And then they went completely masked off. They had one of the female villains fall in love with the female main character. Ew! Ew! Yuck! That was already too much for me to handle. But apparently, that wasn't even a tip of the iceberg. Because by the time season two came around, the Owl House turned into an absolute woke and the 20th episode of season 2, Clouds on the Horizon, was the point of no return for this show. If you had any hope that the Owl House would get back to telling a good story instead of pandering to an audience of liberal Twitter users, then you were plumb out of luck. But ever since Disney subjected the world to this terrible episode, I've always wondered, why exactly was Clouds on the Horizon so bad? Why did the Owl House start pushing political propaganda like a crack dealer that's laid on rent? Why, well, I'm the Pan GTuber, and today, we're going to be doing a deep dive into Clouds on the Horizon and finding out why the show went woke <laughs> and then proceeded to go broke. Okay, so the episode starts with the villain activating a machine. And of course, the villain has to be white. Okay, I don't know whether to be angry or pissed off. Disney just can't stop villainizing my people. Don't believe me? Just look at another one of their god-awful cartoons, Haley's on one. That excuse of a show has exactly one white character, and surprise, surprise, he's the villain. Why? Why do you keep doing this, Disney? My people have suffered at the hands of the woke brigade for hundreds of years. Can you just give us a single, solitary fucking break? All the way true Americans did was build this country and use our god-given right to subjugate everybody who doesn't and fall in line. We do not deserve this kind of treatment by the media. Man, we're not even 10 seconds into this episode, and I'm already in my feelings like the Drake song. Hopefully there isn't any more annoying bullshit to worry about in this episode. Gosh freaking darn it. Speak of an annoying ass character, and they shall appear. That's just how it works in the Disneyverse. Okay, look, let me just say this right now so I don't have to repeat myself throughout this video. This is the most annoying fucking character that I've seen in a very long time. This little thing, whatever the fuck it is, is so goddamn aggravating that I'd rather swallow a handful of thumbtacks than listen to their annoying ass voice. Like seriously, who in the gosh darn heck thought it was a good idea to make a character with a voice that sounds like a bratty, snot-nosed can and a design that looks like it was drawn by a 10-year-old on Crystal? math. Did the producers just not care? I mean, I can't fault them too much because they probably knew that nobody outside of a nursing home was watching this show, but they could have at least pretended to care about their jobs. Okay, so anyway, we got to some chick with green hair planning a ceremony. I uh, don't know what's going on, don't give a shit. And then we move on to her verbally abusing her husband. Oh boy, if I wanted to see that shit, then I would just walk into the kitchen and watch my mom and dad arguing. Though, I really should have complained about this saying too much, because it's infinitely more entertaining than the exposition-filled bullshit that they subject us to next. Let me just sum this scene up. Uh, Luz is a lesbian, uh, King is a titan, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, there's a bunch of random-ass characters sitting at a table doing demonic incantations. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we go back to that first one? Okay, okay. This is the last straw. I can forgive the horrible animation and character design. I can forgive the demonic divinations. But I draw the line at diversity and inclusion. Hell, I shouldn't even call it that. This is woke exclusion. This is piss poor propaganda that's masquerading as a cartoon for kids. The philandering fox running Disney should be ashamed of themselves for taking an awesome, story-driven cartoon like the Owl House and turning it into a monstrosity. Yeah, I fucking said it. You will get as pissed off as you want to. This show was like Frankenstein's monster, and Frankenstein was a psychotic liberal jackass. Gah! And at this point, I was wondering if I should even keep reviewing this episode. Hell, I was starting to get a little bit nauseous after watching this janky ass animation. But then I realized, if I don't stand against the forces of woke, then who will? Nobody else in the cartoon community is based and red-pilled enough to fight back against one of the most dangerous woke tunes ever concocted. So I kept watching the episode, even as it got worse and worse, even as the plot became more confusing, and the dialogue got more lazy, and the animation started to sink to the level of an adult swim show. But then, around the 10-minute mark, 
I just, I just couldn't do it anymore, guys. For some reason, Lois and her walk friends went on a walk adventure to Amity's walk house so they could give each other a walk kiss. I, I, can't, I can't take this anymore. This is beyond unacceptable. How in the hell could Disney think this was okay? They think it's just okay to tell kids about other kinds of lifestyles without my permission. Oh, fuck. I, I mean, uh, without their parents' permission. They think I'm just going to let that slide? This kind of jacked up Democrat messages, all this forced diversity and woke exclusion? They must have lost their ever loving minds. Disney must be crazier than a coked up pimp in a purple Cadillac. You know, in the end, the problem with Hollywood isn't that they're infected with the woke mind virus or that they're more concerned with forcing people to accept each other's differences instead of telling the stories that I want to hear. No, 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 no. The biggest problem with Hollywood is that they're shameless. They will do anything for money. They will destroy American culture if they can make a few bucks from the money laundering. DNC, Democrat, Democrat, clowns, they control our society like a rabid dog on a short leash. Oh, man. I'm tired, boss. I just can't do this anymore. I'm about to slam this video wide open. No holds barred. It just baffles me how the Owl House went from one of the greatest story-driven Disney cartoons of all time to a pathetic piece of propaganda written by the mangled minions of the DNC. The Owl House is the definition of agenda-driven entertainment. It only has two goals. One, to shove woke ideology and diversity down your throat. And two, to tell you that conservatives are bad and conservatives are irrational whiny dumbasses over and over again ad nauseum. Why else would they make the villain a true American? Why the gosh darn freaking fracking heck can my people just be represented in a positive way? Whatever happened to true American heroes like Marty McFly or Tony Stark slash Iron Man? Well, I for one am sick of it, and I think it's high time to give the Owl House the treatment it deserves. Uh, brothers and sisters, we're gathered here to denigrate the life and debauchery of America's wokest cartoon, The Owl House. It was a wolf in sheep's clothing. It was a woke bloodbath. We thought that this show was on the side of the people, and then it went to the side of the woke sheeple. It was an imposter of the sussiest degree. <laughs> Can I get an amen, Sister Georgia? Amen! Huh. We will now follow the time-honored Christian tradition of destroying things we don't like in very public ways. Uh, should I ask what's going on? No, you should not, asshole. <laughs> Man, that smoke is a lot darker than I thought it would be. Yeah, weren't you supposed to take your sister to school today? Yeah, but this was more important. <laughs> we should try burning a cross next time to keep it from bothering us.